So here's the plan. I want to create a magical box that rotates open by itself. No electronics, only mechanics. Inspired by the Hextech box from Arcane, we're going to make the lid click open while the side gears rotate the other way. It's going to be quite the challenge because the mechanism of the show makes no sense. But it looks wicked cool and I like it, so we're going to make it happen. And of course, if y'all like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. Even my planer is telling you to do it. Now to finish off the frame, I use my magic finger to weld on the columns, making sure they align with the slots on the box. I wanted a nice gray color on the metal, so I used the gun bluing, which causes a chemical reaction forming black iron oxide on the surface of the steel. Then I hit it with some protective wax real quick.
For the finish, after cleaning the wood from my fat fingerprints, I chose a water-based finish. The Peruvian walnut is already so dark, so all the oil finishes I tried made the wood pretty much black. This water-based finish is the ticket, just designed to stay clear and keep the color true once it dries. In brazing, the name of the game is to get a filler metal that melts at a lower temperature than the base material. This 56% silver rod does the trick for our brass to brass. We melt the flux, and then add the filler. If done right, the filler should have flown all the way through on all sides. Creating a seamless joint. After sanding it, I like to hit brass with a little mother's action. This shines it right up and adds some protection. Now, we gotta figure out how to make the lid click open. After looking into several different mechanisms, I found that an escapement might be my best bet. The escapement mechanism is pretty much the heartbeat of a pendulum clock. It's what makes it go tick tock, keeping time. Invention is pretty fascinating stuff, definitely revolutionized timekeeping for sure. I don't really have the tools to make one, so it looks like we're gonna have to find one in the wild.
Now, because our escapement can only go one way, we need to add a one-way bearing. We also are going to need to gear it up so it gets in more clicks and can handle the higher torque from the counterweight on the lid. So the problem with our design is that we have two shafts and four bearings that all have to be aligned on the same axis. If one of them is off by just a little, the wheels and the lid will rotate crooked and seize everything up. After some experimenting, I found the best way to do this is with an alignment rod. For the locking mechanism, I got this doohickey, made in England. Only problem, and I don't get this very often, my key is too small. It won't be able to reach through the walls. So we'll have to do some surgery. After more than six months, this project finally came to an end. I got many more crazy builds in the works, so be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.